GLH Hotels is probably a company most people haven't heard of, but we're actually London's largest owner-operator of hotel rooms, which basically means we physically own our hotels. Within GLH, I'm the Chief Technology Officer, so I've got responsibility for technology strategy both across the normal hotel in, um, industry, but also across the digital vision as well. So, uh, to put those into perspective, I'm the person who's responsible for looking after Wi-Fi and TVs in the room, but I'm also responsible for looking after the whole organisation's technology and the services that support our future digital initiatives. APIs are and will continue to have a profound importance within the hospitality industry. If you think of the way hotels work, the majority or large volume of, of reservations don't come via the direct website, they come via online travel agents. And the way the industry works is there's a whole industry of intermediaries who help hotels uh, connect to online travel agents. It's very convenient, but all of those take a transaction fee for every booking, modification and cancellation. Our API platform has very much simplified our approach to connecting directly to online travel agents, which means we can avoid paying transaction fees to intermediaries. All of these companies are essentially providing a service, but they're taking a slice out of our rate. And what we're focused on is improving our room rate for every room we have in our hotels. So anything we can do to reduce costs, transaction fees for those bookings that we do, and the API is helping us to do that. The other thing it's enabling us to do is to consider digital uh, services that we could never have envisaged previously. Um, much of the hospitality industry is bogged down with legacy infrastructure. It, it's, it's quite old and, and complex to integrate to. Our API platform has meant that we can layer over some of that complexity and provide a REST API for developing digital services. And the, the Choose Your Own Room prototype I talked about earlier is a good example of that. By solving one problem to sort out ODAs, we've developed a service with, which required very, very little change, but meant that we could develop a, a responsive web app to deliver a brand new product, uh, which adds value to the customer. So that's where APIs really help. It helps us connect directly to uh, distribution services, but it also means we can develop innovative technology products, uh, which currently don't exist. Without APIs, it would be impossible to keep up with some of the competitors. That's essentially how they're building the services from the ground up as an API-led platform. If for a company not to have an API-led technology strategy now is really a, a decision to, to walk off an evolutionary cliff. So uh, one of the reasons GLH is working with Apogee is because they solve one of the biggest problems we had, which is around security, performance, bike arrest. The, the first challenge we had was to expose our API externally. For many organizations, actually, they're developing APIs to use internally first and then externalize it. Ours, from the day one, was an external-facing API. We don't have the scale or the resources and knowledge to solve those problems ourselves, which is why we're looking for an API platform. And we, you know, we went to market, we looked at other services, we liked Apogee because of the knowledge they brought to it. It wasn't just the technology, but it was also a, an approach, and it was a refreshing approach to API design. So Apogee brought a lot of learnings to us that helped us fast track. Basically, it helped us get to market and get something out there quickly, which, um, considering we'd never done API development before, was critical for us in order to generate a uh, an interest and a critical mass to move on to the next thing. We had to show something, and Apogee was the quickest way of actually showing something. The wraparound services around security and performance management and monitoring uh, are, are excellent. Uh, for us to, to put those together from other services would have just been too complex considering our scale and, and resources. So it's helped us fast track. In terms of ROI, I mean, I'll give an example. Um, I talked earlier about the concept of direct integrations to online travel agents and the removal of intermediaries from that. Um, without giving what the overall ROI is, I can, uh, if, I, if I say it in terms of um, you know, that there's a transaction fee for every single booking, 
modification and cancellation. It's not negligible, but it's not huge. But just by taking that out from, from one integration to one online travel agent has paid for the development cost of that plus another one. So it absolutely pays to develop the API and have it operating uh, as a commercial product in its own right. We haven't had to include soft benefits. We have one single hard benefit, which is the removal of transaction fees. And that has supported the business case. I love APIs because they make technology one of the most exciting places to be right now. It means we're really at the heart of the digital journey for most companies.